Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today we're talking about the differences between schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder. Now, full disclosure, I have schizoaffective disorder, I've never been diagnosed with schizophrenia, I don't know 100% what that disorder is, so please bear with me. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Let's start with schizoaffective disorder. Schizoaffective disorder is a psychotic disorder that has both mood elements and psychotic elements to it. So you have the bipolar type and then the depressive type and bipolar type where you get mania, hypermania, depression and then on the psychotic side I have hallucinations and delusions, paranoia. Basically, and schizophrenia is a psychotic disorder as well, but it does not have a, m a mood element to it. So you, ha you just have psychotic features, which include paranoia, hallucinations, delusions, disorganised thinking, disorganised speech, and probably a lot of other symptoms that I don't know about. Basically the big difference between the two is one has a mood element and one doesn't. The mood element of schizoaffective disorder is, is what makes schizoaffective disorder different to schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, let's talk about this because I haven't, I haven't made a video ever on schizophrenia. So let's get my phone up. Schizophrenia is a serious mental health condition that affects how people think, feel and behave. It may result in a mix of hallucinations, delusion, disorganised thinking and behaviour. Hallucinations involve seeing things, hearing voices that aren't observed by others. Let me correct that. Hallucinations are also tactile, taste, smell. So hallucinations have a wide spectrum. Personally for me, I struggle with visual hallucinations, auditory hallucinations and tactile hallucinations. The tactile hallucinations are some of the worst. I would not wish it on my worst enemy. Schizophrenia is a mental illness that affects you the way you think, feel and behave. It affects one in every hundred people. Schizophrenia may develop in early adulthood. There are different types of schizophrenia. You may experience positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia. Positive symptoms are when you experience things in addition to, re to reality. For example, you might see, hear, believe things that others don't. Negative symptoms are where you lose the ability to do something or is affected. For example, losing motivation to do things and becoming withdrawn. They often last longer than positive symptoms. So those are just some of the key things about schizophrenia. Like I said, I know more about schizoaffective disorder because I actually have that. So the different, the big, the only difference between the two is schizoaffective has a mood element. Schizophrenia doesn't. That's that. I hope this video has been educational. I hope. Maybe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.